Hello, this is the janitor. And I'm just gonna explain a few little tutorials on how to get started with this and to make some patterns. Um, so at the moment we're on memory, which gives you all the sounds you need to flick through. So yeah, you've got that section, just all the sounds in here. Um, you can also save to memory by just pressing that front, that one at the end. So yeah, you can save when you've modded your sound and played a bit a little bit. You can actually save your sound. When you're on pattern, you can save patterns to here, like ones you've made in this section, which you make from this thing here. So you can put them all in, press the cross and that. You can put them in steps and go up like that. Just doing a rough example. Play it. And then when you want to save it, you go to that, make sure it's on there. You press that twice. And there we go, we've got that saved now. And that's on pattern 13. So if we go through them, Nothing on that one. There you go, it's going through them there now. So you can save your patterns separately here. On the loop function, you can uh, basically you can save all these just by pressing that at the end. So on the loop function, I've got a garage one at the moment, I believe. And that's pattern 16. So listen. So we've got a garage one playing here. It's just one that I put together the other day. So yeah, to save that, just make sure it's on loop. Uh, it's 122, the loop. You flick through some, we'll go through some different ones. You can't string them together, unfortunately, but you can just set them up and play them as single songs. So we've got that one. Move along again. But yeah, my recent one is uh, this one. And we've got some other ones as well. Go to this one. Takes a bit of time for it to come on. But yeah, if we want to make some fresh loops, I'll go to an empty one. So at the moment, we've got the loops on. So if we go to here, we can see it's free, which is from when you start the bar, that's set measurements, which will play at the end of that. Um, Altogether, the loops can go up as high as 64 bars, I believe it is, um, which is pretty good. Um, yeah, I mean, that's quite a lot of counts. But at the moment, I've got it on three. So if we start with, go to an empty one. Uh, make sure the metronome, metronome's on. There you go. So we can go and right, clear that. There you go. Press it to start. Press it again to stop. So yeah, we've got that going. Select the next instrument at the end here. Say that one. Now this as long as you need to. That red line can go all the way to the end. So yeah, it goes as long as it will go to. I think it's 64 bars. And then press it again. There you go, that's the third, second one. So yeah, when it's on free, like I say, you can start and stop at will. 
Um, I haven't tried the other modes yet. There's auto as well. Um, but yeah, I'm not too bothered about that at the moment. I find the free the free bars doing it freely is easier. Let's turn that match alone down a minute. So yeah, let's go to the next one. Say some ribbons. And obviously, this unquantized recording, if you want to make it nice and organic, at the moment we've got it unquantized. So that's just played in, like freely. But if you want to get it quantized, go to the pattern section. And I've got a quantized ribbon playing in here. So we can use that. So let's go to that, mute, mute that, get rid of that organic drum, and then so that's playing now. And there you go. We've got a quantized drum playing. So that's perfectly quantized and that's playing through the pattern bit so yeah it's handy to be able to have as many patterns as you want saved in this section and you've got the number of patterns uh, I think you can have like 128 patterns I think there must be some extra spaces as well but when you've got all the patterns full then you convert them to the loops so we go to the loop section, we're on loop two, and um, there's quite a few, quite a few loops to listen to. There's some that I've recently done, some on 122, 123. So we've got this one I made a couple of days ago. Not that one, I think I've been through these already, but I'm just going through them again. Um, it up, come on. There we go. This one's quite ambient and sounding. I really like it. Uh, so play along with this solo bit of solo. Can't see here anything. I think it's because the volume's down a bit on these gain controls. So you've got your sounds there. When you go along, you've got all your like amp amplitude filters. You can do lots of stuff in these bits here to change the sound. Then you've got your effects. You need to use those. Obviously, when the when the loop is done, you can't change the loopers. That's the only thing. You have to record all the stuff into those first. Um, while the pattern's playing, you can alter all this and mess around and change the pattern um, while it's playing. And then you loop them into here and uh, you can get some really good complex sounds going with it. Um, what can I say, it's an incredible machine. I love it. Um, just a little discussion about my subscribers. Yes, I've lost two subscribers. Um, and I'm guessing why. I'm guessing it's because I deleted my live video after I'd done it. Um, and also because I was smoking quite a bit, smoking this while I was playing. Um, so yeah, they've obviously gone, oh, I don't want to listen to them anymore. Uh, <laughs> tidy up to them if they want to leave. I'm still like on 998, so it doesn't actually bother me. Um, but yeah, I will be doing some more live. I think because I did it live way too long. It was like nearly 80 minutes, 85 minutes I went on for. 
Um, I was a bit under pressure to keep everything going. I was trying to set my iPad up towards the end to play some preset music, but it's fun actually mixing the preset stuff and the uh, Novation launch pad. I found that looking a lot of good fun. But yeah, I lost two subscribers because they were probably a bit fussy and they w wanted a bit more out of me. Um, that's absolutely fine. I'm still at 998, so it's no big deal. Um, so yeah, I mean, I enjoyed playing live, but it's been such a long time since I last played live. Since the new YouTube rules come in, I haven't been able to uh, do it. So, you know, there's only so much I can do. Um, and plus I do suffer with mental health problems, which I'm learning to cope with day by day. Um, one of my mental health problems is my OCD. Um, like these, for instance, there was the grills, the fabric grills around there. And I ended up pulling them off because they frayed really easily. I noticed bits of cotton sticking out just from handling it, picking it up, putting it down. And I had the obsession of shining the light on it and noticing that and I just kept pulling them out. Soon the others pulled them off. Uh, no big deal. It doesn't affect the sound. Uh, might let a bit of the air get in there and dust, but I can just clean all that out of the hoover. Um, at least they're still on. Another, another note I should make is that these aren't speakers, they're just there for show. So anyone that thinks these are extra speakers, they're not. Um, I'm a little bit let down, because I actually thought there was sound coming out of them. Um, but it's no big deal. But you know, instead of having the speakers there, so they're going to build extra speakers. They could have put the speaker there, so it's sort of, I don't know, so it goes through the both of them, instead of going through just there. But yeah, I think that's just there for show same underneath as well I mean there's no there's no sound at all coming out of there hardly it's just there for show um, yeah I do feel a bit bad taking them off but it was just bothering me while it was like that and now they're gone I feel a lot better so hey ho but that's that's OCD for you it, it, it just takes over um, I'm thinking if I'm really that bothered, I'll just make some extra grills and just cut them to that shape with a pair of scissors and then get some uh, special glue, just a certain amount of glue and just push them back, push them down and have it so they're covering. But it's no biggie. Um, again, it was bothering me. Um, but anyway, that's all I've got to show really. Um, the tutorial and um, apart from losing my subscribers but that's just the way it goes so there's only two subscribers that have unsubscribed so the overall this is an amazing machine um, and like I say it's plugged plugged into here so it's not like I'm going to be having any use for this unless I'm playing on my lap But yeah, no, it's an incredible machine. Um, going back to my live playing, there will be some, there will be some more live stuff eventually. It'll be with this, the model cycles, and maybe the Electribe as well. But also, I've got some apps on there that I can also use. So I can have a few machines playing at once and do kind, kind of like mix mixing tunes to other tunes so I've got the guitar input there um, I can also use the keyboard input and the microphone input um, that's the headphones input of some sort uh, instruments okay so that's for your instruments there's one there as well um, yeah, this this is an amazing little device. So that's what's given me all the nice quality recordings and stuff. But anyway, it's getting up to 14 minutes now, and I have to clock off because I'm two subscribers short, and it might not let me go any longer. So thanks for watching, and there'll be more ELZ1 Play live uh, recordings on the way because I love making the ambience on this thing. Um, but yeah. 
I'm gonna have to go. So take it easy, people. And that was the ELZ One Play tutorial.